What's up, speaker files? Wellington here, and welcome to another sound battle where we let speakers speak for themselves in the battlefield. Actually, before that, hey, if you like what you see, I have the links in the description down there. This is a very, very comfortable hoodie. You know, it's got a hood on it and all that kind of cool stuff. Very, very appropriate for the fall weather. Go check it out. I also have a lot of cool new designs over there. Links in the descriptions. Go check it out, support the channel. Be the cool kid, all right? Anyways, in the battlefield, today we have the JBL Party box on the go going up against the JBL Boom Box 2. Now, besides the shape and the size of these two speakers, there's quite a few things that are kind of different about in about the two speakers in comparison to each other. And maybe the main three that I can point out is the wattage. This one is at battery, when running on battery is 60 watts, well as this guy's is up to 100 watts. Uh, this one is running two four inch drivers and the party box on the go is running one five and a quarter inch driver, the main driver. Now it has one main driver, but it's actually a stereo speaker, stereo. It's more like a two to one kind of setup where the tweeters are actually separated and the main woofer is actually playing uh, both channels. So it's kind of like a two to one uh, setup this is a complete stereo setup. They are both directional speakers. And this is IPX4 rated splash proof. This is completely waterproof. The Boombox 2 is also rated for up to 24 hours of play time. Well, as this guy has a rating of only six hours. The party box on the go is running Bluetooth 4.2. This is running Bluetooth 5.1. I don't understand why the newer speaker is running older version of Bluetooth. What is JBL doing here? I don't understand it, but the other big thing is price. This is like $500. This guy is about $300. So about $200. $100 difference. So those are things that you should keep in mind while we compare these two speakers. Most really the price there. That's a big difference in price. So we'll see how these two compare sound wise. Now, as usual, actually before that, the party box on the go has kind of like three sound modes. I've already mentioned this in my videos, but I'll say it again. It has the regular mode where you don't have best boost on. When you press the best boost button, you get best boost one. When you press it again, you get best boost two. So three sound modes, regular, best boost one, best boost two. So for the sound samples that I'm going to give you, you're going to be listening to this guy for the first two songs, I'll be playing it in best boost, I mean, regular mode, scratch best boost, regular mode, standard mode, no best boost or anything. And then for the rest of the songs, I'll turn best boost one on, you know, for the rest of the songs. Anyway, so much rambling. Um, as usual, I will be using a high quality binaural microphone. So for the best experience, please make sure you are using good headphones. So with that said, let's hear the speakers speak and we'll talk about them on the other side.
there you have it. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. First things first, when it comes to loudness, the Boombox 2 is slightly the loudest between these two guys. Now, this was kind of surprising to me a little bit, you know, considering the size of the two, but hey, size doesn't always mean better. That's what I should say. The highs on both speakers are pretty close to the same and I wouldn't necessarily pick one over the other when it comes to highs, but if I had to take one over the other, I think I would go with a pretty box on the go just because sometimes on the boom box to the highs are sometimes a little too sharp in some songs, but they are very close to the same when it comes to highs. When it comes to the mids, I think the party box on the go is doing better than the boom box too. And this is something that the boom box to suffered with. I meant to say the boom box one suffered with, and they did some improvements in comparison to the boom box two for the mids department, but it still lacks a little bit in that area. And the boom, um, the party box on the go is definitely doing better. If you listen to its sound, is more open in comparison to the boom box two, and that that uh, the thanks go to the better mids that the, the party box on the go is putting out. I think I'm just eating my words. But with all of that said, I think when it comes to best performance, the boom box two is actually slightly doing better than the party box on the go. Now the difference is not like huge. It's not like this big difference when it comes to best performance, no. But if you used headphones, song number three and song number four during the sound sample, you should have clearly heard that the Boombox 2 is going deeper and knocking out all those lower notes better than what the party box on the go is doing. So definitely the Boombox 2 is doing better when it comes to best performance. Um, in comparison to the party box on the go. So all in all, if you are a best lover and will take any best you can get and price is not any issue for you, I think the boom box two is your guy here in comparison to the party box on the go. But if you're someone looking for the best value for your money, I think the party box on the go would be a better choice between these two. I personally don't think the loudness and the slightly better bass that you get out of the party box, out of the boom box too, is worth the 200 extra dollars that you are paying instead of the party box on the go. I don't think so. Not to mention that the party box on the go has features that you're not going to find on the boom box to things like the PA system that comes with a, a free wireless microphone. You're not going to get that with the boom box too. And you can also plug in your own microphones in here if you want to use even more. And that's not to mention that it comes with a strap. That's not to mention that it's cheaper. I mean, yes, you're only getting six hours, which is kind of a downside to the party box on the go, as opposed to 24 hours of rating, uh, play time. And this is only IPX4 rated, only about splash proof. This is completely waterproof, but oh my gosh. You see, you are gonna have to decide between those things. Do you really care about waterproof? Do you really care about this strap? Do you really care about the size difference? You're gonna have to decide, but personally, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, the party box between these two, I think the party box on the go would be the better choice to go with, okay? And if you're willing to go to pay that much for this guy here, I think you might even be better off with the party box 100. Like, 
Between the two, yes, this will be better, but if you're up for changes, you might as well go with the Party Box 100. It doesn't have the strap. I mean, I compare the two, so I'll link the video to the comparison of this and the Party Box 100. Maybe that will help you decide. But between these two strictly, I would take the Party Box 100. I mean, the Party Box on the go is a better choice between these two speakers. So, yes, the ball is back in your court to decide. But hey, thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful at all, please like it, subscribe to the channel, go check out my merch, support the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.